Good evening. On a day of deep and profound grief, the crash of Ukrainian Air Flight 752 is penetrating every corner of Canada. We have a great deal to report tonight about what happened minutes after takeoff in Tehran. All 176 passengers and crew were killed, including 63 Canadians. 24 of the victims were children. The crash was just hours after Iran carried out missile strikes on two U.S. military bases in Iraq. Are the two linked? Can you um, say categorically, one way or another, that the plane was not shot down? I cannot. There were whole families killed, newlyweds, students and professors from almost a dozen colleges and universities across this country. We have extensive coverage tonight and we begin with CTV's John Venavale Rao. In the wreckage of the crash, among the debris and the bodies, so many bodies, a chilling sign of the tragedy's Canadian toll. The identity cards of a Waterloo student and a young woman who was living in British Columbia. And tonight, the vigils began, the first of many to come for those lost, including more than 30 from Alberta alone. These two professors from Edmonton had gone to Iran with their daughters to visit family. They were such sweet people. They were such kind per people, best teachers. Alma Oladi was studying at the University of Ottawa. At her desk is a growing memorial. Heartbreaking, devastating, and uh, everybody in shock right now. Shock at the crash that happened moments after takeoff. These passengers snapped a selfie minutes before. When this wife and husband from the Ottawa area got to the airport in Tehran, the husband had an issue with his ticket, so only she got on the plane. He thought, OK, I'm sending my wife home, and then I will join you later. And unfortunately, that's not happened. My name is uh, Mohamed Asadilari. This uh, Toronto man was also on board. Uh, he worked for the Canadian Commission for UNESCO. Among the other victims, a dentist from Halifax, a couple from North Vancouver who were both doctors, and newlyweds from Montreal who'd gone to Tehran to be married. There were also international students, like Ganimat Azdari. For thousands of years, we are living in our biodiverse area. She was a graduate student at the University of Guelph who had a passion for studying indigenous peoples. It's been just crushing. Um, you know, I'm in terrible pain, as well as my students. From public schools to universities and government buildings, flags across the country are at half-mast. So far, we know of students and faculty from at least 11 post-secondary institutions who were killed. Many of them had gone back to Iran to see family over the winter break. More than 100 were supposed to switch planes in Kiev for the flight back to Canada. Hauntingly, that connecting flight landed this afternoon. A Ukrainian Airlines plane just landed in Toronto from Kiev. According to the airline, there were 138 passengers who weren't on that flight. The few who were on the plane that the mood was somber. It was pretty grim. The number of seats that were empty that were supposed to be filled by those people. This dentist and her nine-year-old daughter should have landed in Toronto. Her husband is now on his way to Iran looking for answers. Also among those killed were high school students, three members of a Port Coquitlam family, and a family from Ajax, Lisa, who had a one-year-old with them. It is just unbearably sad, John. You know, it's the largest number of Canadians killed since the Air India bombing back in 1985. Wow, such a dark day.